Little FOV change, little mouse and keyboard. You guys like the mouse and keyboard, right? <laughs> All right, buckle up. <laughs> since it was announced that Invasion Mode, one of the main game modes for Doom Eternal, will not release at launch. We'll release as a free update shortly after launch. It's been almost a year since release. Oh my god, this is so sad. Vega, play Mario Jr. Mr. Rage Night Corver. So I'm well aware that it's old news by now, but Invasion Mode has officially been cancelled in development by id Software in favor for a new official Horde Mode. Now before I continue with this video, I just want to clarify that I am not entirely against this decision. An official Horde Mode is something that the fans have been clamoring for for a long time so they can play it on all platforms. I definitely respect id Software for always doing the brilliant work that they do with the community to make that a possibility. I also think that having a horde mode will greatly improve the game's replayability because as brilliantly as the campaign levels are designed at the moment, it's just getting kind of boring replaying them over and over again for XP and challenges. And in the majority of cases, I do really enjoy horde modes in FPS games. Sometimes they'll help cement a game as being one of my absolute all-time favorites. Other times they'll be so good that they stand on their own and will be the primary reason I play a game to begin with. And on top of all this, Doom Eternal already has a large amount of the resources required to make an official horde mode. So yes, just to clarify, I am not against a horde mode in Doom Eternal. Anything but, really. But I just want to make this video to try and talk a bit more about how I've been feeling about the whole situation. The reason I'm so disappointed that we won't ever see Invasion come to light officially is that it was just such a unique premise. Playing a mode where two player controlled demons could come into your level at any time would have really shaken up the combat and how you handle a scenario, as opposed to the current technique which is just make the player use a certain weapon mod they don't particularly want to use. I am also willing to compensate for any balance changes that would need to be made in order for a scenario like this to work. Bucchio has a really good video on that matter of which I have left a link to in the description below. The fact that one of the key selling points of Doom Eternal at many showcases was this one individualistic feature just makes this all seem kind of anticlimactic. Instead of getting something new and potentially groundbreaking for Doom Eternal, we ended up getting something that's actually just kind of generic and appears in a lot of FPS games nowadays. A good one at that, but that really just doesn't excuse how disappointing it is to see such a cool premise like this just be dumped. Yes, I do understand that development for a mode like this will have been a struggle, especially with how much Doom Eternal changed during its development and how much would need to be dedicated towards getting both of the DLCs out in time for the one year anniversary. But Nevertheless, it's just really disappointing to see something like this be the case. Invasion was something that was hyped up so much, and then it didn't really come to fruition at all, and now it's just never gonna come out. Something truly novel was what we had, and then it just sort of went which just really disappoints me. I didn't want to be the one to rain on everybody's parade, but I just wanted to bring this up because it was really bugging me and I thought it was worthwhile talking about. It's a shame that we'll never see this new and fresh idea come to light, but it is rather good that we're going to get something that we've been asking for for a long time now. And personally, I can't wait for Horde Mode. But at the same time, I'm just kind of conflicted on what it took to get there. Thank you all very much for watching. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, announcement time, you thought it was over, artificial video inflation, haha! <laughs>
So apparently re-uploading someone's shitpost as your own shitpost gets you over a thousand views, and as a result, I reached 600 subscribers finally today, which is a relatively big milestone for me since my subscriber growth is as slow as how long it takes for me to pull out of your mum. So I'm very happy to announce that I'm going to be doing a 600 subscriber Q&A. Go into the comments and ask me whatever the fuck you want. I'm assuming I'm gonna be pretty desperate for questions, so I'll really just accept whatever. To round it off, I just wanted to genuinely thank every single one of you for sticking with the channel for as long as you have. I greatly appreciate it. And yeah, legitimately this time, I'll see you around.